What is going on, guys? Meteorologist Jonathan Keg is back with you, and we are talking about the west coast of the United States. We continue to get pounded by these series of storms known as atmospheric rivers, at least. These storms are inducing the atmospheric river, also known as the Pineapple Express, when they have connections to the deep tropical Pacific, at least on the west coast anyway, and they extend all the way back to Hawaii. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a second. And then we're really going to get into the impacts. We've already had significant impacts when it comes to these storms on the west coast of the United States in terms of mudslides, heavy, heavy snow. That is going to continue again as really this parade of these storms continues not only through the upcoming weekend, but well into next week as well. And then, yeah, you may have seen this. The hurricane hunters. Of course, it is not hurricane season by any means. We're in the middle of winter. But the job these men and women do never stop. They fly in and out of other storms as well when it is not hurricane season. They're actually out on the West Coast flying out of California and out of Hawaii, sampling the atmosphere so that we can get better data into our forecast models to better have more accuracy into what impacts could be coming here going forward as the parade of these storms continues. So we'll get into that. I'll show you where the hurricane hunters are in just a few minutes if you stick around. Here we go with atmospheric river number three or four at this point, gearing up again. You see that swirl here, big storm system moving towards British Columbia. What that is doing, though, you see all this bright blue and yellow. This is all of the atmospheric moisture that is going to be unleashed again into northern California first, Friday night into Saturday, and then dropping down into Southern California over the weekend. Some spots, like LA, we could get more rain in this week than we did all of 2022 combined. Just some crazy stuff. All right, so here we go. Model forecast here of the amount of moisture in our atmosphere. You see the arrows here representing where we have the wind. Note this very narrow ribbon of green, this corridor of green. That is your atmospheric river, kind of that fire hose being directed in. And you see how far the moisture extends back to, way into the tropical Pacific. We had one that was connected right to Hawaii. That was the one that just slammed California. But wait, there's another one. Here we go on January 9th. So we're fast forwarding out into next week. Another storm here. You see the river of moisture slamming the west coast of the United States, getting into Oregon, Northern California once again, maybe taking a day break. And then here comes another one, huge fire hose. And you see again, this Pacific moisture extends all the way back to the island chain of Hawaii here. And just unbelievable amounts of moisture continue to stream in to parts of California. Look at this. Now, this is what is to come from Friday into the next eight days. So we're extending this out seven, eight days. And look at the amount of rain the west coast of Florida or the west coast of California could see here. You see it. I think that number is low, that 4.45 inches in Northern California. I think we could double that in some cases right along the West Coast. Again, this is the model forecast. I think here, though, right on the money, anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of rain. You see Los Angeles, the model forecast, giving us 5 inches in that 8-day stretch. That is on top of what we've already picked up. And again, all of last year, all of 2022 in L.A., we picked, just, we picked up just over seven inches of rain so incredible amounts of rain this is more indicative of an el nino pattern we were talking about this in one of our previous videos if you are enjoying this video if you're finding this video helpful please give it a thumbs up it does help us out a lot what this rain is a positive for and again this is way too much rain this is coming down way too fast it's causing major impacts with the mudslides and all of that stuff but i do want to show you here where the extreme historic drought you've heard that advertised over the past two years but we are going to pretty much bust all of it in the sierra nevadas we are still in that extreme drought i'm going to show you the snow coming to the sierras in just a second but all in this area i would not be surprised that we can completely wipe this out over the next couple of weeks the reservoirs can certainly handle it in a lot of cases they were at record lows or close to it, so they can handle that. It's just the runoff from burn scars, things like that. 
that are going to create the big problems in terms of the mudslides. Also, Lake Mead, we could get a little bit of rain, nothing too crazy, maybe up to another half an inch. We need to really supply the Colorado River with some extra moisture as well to really help that situation further. But any rain is going to be great there. So we're going to be watching that, of course. That is the secondary component to this. The first are going to be the immediate, potentially catastrophic impacts that will even get worse, again, on top of some of that crazy stuff that you're seeing out there into the western part of the United States, specifically into north central California. Look at this. This is the snow still to come. We've already picked up feet as these atmospheric rivers have been ongoing for about the last 10 days or so. These parades, these series of storms. Look at the model forecast here. And again, these aren't even in the highest elevation. So I want to show you this. The color table goes up to 60 inches. And some places up on the tip-top peaks of the Sierra Nevadas, we're maxing that out. You see 56 inches in Mammoth Lakes, 41 inches expected in South Lake Tahoe. And again, a lot of times the model forecast underdoes this. What happens when you get these atmospheric rivers really cranking up? It pushes all that moisture right into the mountains. They run into the mountains. There is no place for that moisture to go but up. It rises, it cools, it condenses, and enhances those, those precip rate, rates. So we could legitimately be talking about another three to six feet or more of snow in the tip top of the mountains here of the Sierra Nevada is certainly great for ski country. And it is great going forward, at least that part, that we could continue to see during the snow melt, the reservoirs filled up there. But again, we had issues back in 2016, 2017, when we had those crushing snowstorms. So that's going to be something that will continue to be monitored into next year. All right, as promised, want to end with this. Again, something cool here going on with the Hurricane Hunters. They went out last night. You see that loop here. I'll loop it again for you. Uh, awesome stuff here from the men and women. Again, taking off in California, right in here. Look at that. They found 125 mile per hour wind gust in that storm. Now the storm is just getting ready to come on the coast. This is now 11.05 Eastern time, of course, uh, earlier in the morning Pacific time. But they're dropping their instruments in. They are sampling these storms. That all goes into the computer forecast, the computer models, to give us a better idea what is going on in these storms. Again, you all know it. The Pacific Ocean is big. We don't have a lot of ground truth data out there unless a ship is underneath there. Satellites do do some measuring, but certainly it really helps to be able to have all of that data being crunched, being thrown right into the models it helps with you have more data of course the models perform a little better so that's going to be invaluable again we have uh the c-130 taking off of california and then we have the little teeny tiny plane the g4 jet taking off from hawaii to sample kind of more of the upper levels of the atmosphere uh for research and of course again these go into the models for data Alrighty, guys, that's what's going on out west. That's where we have the biggest weather impacts. We talked about this in a previous video that 2023 was going to start off very active, especially out west with these series of atmospheric rivers. And that is going to continue again, not only for the upcoming weekend, but really getting into the week ahead with at least two more extremely significant episodes. So keep that in mind again, especially if you're watching from the west coast, that this is likely going to get way worse, unfortunately before it gets better if you did find this video informative or helpful please give it a thumbs up if you do love tracking the weather if you do love staying up to date on what's going on weather wise we would love to have you please hit that subscribe button let us know where you're tuning in from post that in the comments if you're watching from florida again our hurricane hunters they're doing some great work out west in the off season and hopefully it's the last time they are needed hopefully the weather quiets down but it should stay active unfortunately for at least the next week or so out west. Thank you guys tuning in. Really appreciate it. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time.